just through the rainbow, from the world we know lies. Depressed Luigi 92. Every time I would go online, whether it's YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, DeviantArt, whatever, I always see millions of posts and videos and articles debating on which the best villain in the media is. I always agreed on good choices like Frollo from Hunchback, Scar from The Lion King, Captain Hook from Peter Pan, and Tamatoa from Moana, and wait a minute. A lot of these villains are pretty much from Disney of all companies. Weird! So why not I step outside the box, literally, and explain why Fungus Maximus from Barbie Mermaidia, published by Lionsgate, is the best villain ever, from any form of media whatsoever. Starting off with... Fungus Maximus, who I'm just gonna call Max, doesn't really have a solid motivation apart from the whole get the baby now situation, but it still is a passable motive. He just wants to rule the world with uh, whoever this lady is. I mean, I don't remember her name. I, I only watched it like five times and I was like, okay, I don't remember who this bitch is. <laughs> Which is mostly what he wants out of the job. However, he will do anything to get the berry that's in the cave to give to the queen that laid in the house that Jack built. And how he'll do it is pretty much beyond wicked. He'll threat to poison the entire ocean. He'll threat the prince who is a victim with violent actions. He'll even send his henchman, the fungi, to go and kill someone to protect the berry when he has it in his hands. <laughs> what a bastard. And that's pretty good motive from my point of view. Which brings me to a few things that I'm certain you might hate. Max has done a lot of the same tired cliches that we've seen in other movies. But, in my opinion, Max's actually works. Remember that trade-off scene from Rise of the Guardians? Now let her go. No, you! Yeah, no, that isn't really evil, threatening, or whatever, honestly. I mean, it just seems lame and forced without any rhyme or reason. Kinda like a lot of other movies, but whatever. Now, when Max does it, he says the threat in a very, very, very evil and eerie tone. Almost threatening at places. You can give me the berry, or I'll drop this vial of poison into the water. Mermaidia will die out by the end of the day. And when he obtains the berry from Alina, God, how do I know her name but not her name? He actually knows why she gave the berry to him. It was for the good of Mermaidia. How touching. You chose to save the mer people. But he still drops the poisonous bottle down because evil shit or whatever. But compared to any other villain who's done this, whether it's a trade or give me the thing or I'll kill your family or whatever, Max actually was the only one who did it right. The funny thing is, this was a threat and not a trade. Because God knows how many times we've seen a trade. And that's why it's so much better here than any other movie that's done it before. It's probably due to the fact that his writing is one of the key features of Bowser. Which brings us to... Almost every single scene with Fungus Maximus aka Max in it is always the best part of the movie. The scene where he's trying to find the berry in the cave is just outstandingly funny. It brings us some great timing and the visuals and sounds make it a lot better. The immunity berry! That's not the berry, Max. Here it is! No, it isn't! Ah, the immunity berry! No, the berry! Yes! A lot of the interactions with the prince is just as good as any other scene with Max. It sets up a few great moments and lines from this particular movie. Something's not right here. Of course it's not right, it's left. Lefting! Left a Stop! I will say that Max can be a little bit too goofy, but the goofiness is a specialty, especially for characters' designs like this. Speaking of the design, the design is hideous looking, but at least it looks nice. And that is one thing I will defend. His design. You wouldn't count the amount of times I laughed with this movie every time Max 
the prince, and his fungi henchmen were on screen, whether together or on screen separately. You got cliches that were actually good. You got funny henchmen and a captive prince to crack jokes with. What's not to love about Fungus Maximus, the greatest villain of all time? I will state that Fungus Maximus will always be the best villain of all time, in any way, shape, or form. However, there are upside and downsides to this villain. This villain is from Barbie Mermadia, which, FYI, was published by Lionsgate who, on the upside part, up published other good movies like Rock Dog, another decent to good film that only one of my friends like, but hey, it is a pretty decent film and I do recommend it. But, on the downside, Lionsgate did publish Norm of the North. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it was all thanks to this company trying to sell a movie with the third worst villain of all time, instead of giving more love to the villain that actually matters. And the movie Rock Dog. But even when Lionsgate has been getting a bad reputation with Normie of the North, you can't deny that they had a fantastic moment and a fantastic production of all time, and it was all justified with one of the greatest villains of all time, who just wanted to rule the world after obtaining a berry for her lovely queen. For his lovely queen. The actual movie is just okay though, so if you're looking for a good Barbie movie with both a good villain and a good overall everything else, then I recommend Barbie Swan Lake. It's good, trust me. Mm -hmm.